Hey guys, it's me, Madison. And today you are going to be watching a super helpful and awesome video. If you haven't read the title of this video, you're probably wondering what this video is about. It's doing DIYs to relieve boredom during this pandemic. Let's be honest, we are all crazy bored and have nothing to do, which is why I bring you this video to watch and maybe even try some things. All these DIY items you can find in your house, so try them out and then in the comments, tell me if it worked for you. Without any further said, let's just get straight into the video. Hey, it's me, Madison, and now for the first DIY, we are going to be making churros. Now, um, the ingredients for churros is so the ingredients you're going to be needing is one cup of water, six tablespoons of butter, one teaspoon of vanilla extract, two tablespoons of sugar, vegetable oil for frying, cinnamon sugar, and eggs. You are also going to be needing a saucepan, a mixing tool, a large pot, and we are going to be needing piping bags. And if you don't have piping bags, I know how to make them. So how you would make the piping bags, if I could find the rubber band. Now to make a piping bag, you are going to cut a hole in the corner of a sandwich bag. About this big, the size of your churro. You're after that, once we have the churro mixture and all that stuff, we are going to pour the churro mixture inside of the bag and then you are going to close it tight and then put a rubber band on the bottom of it to keep it closed and then you're going to pipe it out. So let's start making it. Is in the box. Okay, so we had a minor difficulty or problem um i thought i was recording and i did the first half of making it and um I wasn't. so um what i did was i just added the butter We're, we added one cup of water um butter and sugar yeah i didn't realize i wasn't recording so that's basically what we've done so far and now we're going to continue because it is now boiling now you're going to add one teaspoon of vanilla extract to your mixture. Now we are going to let it boil for 30 seconds. Okay, so now we are going to turn off the heat. Now we are going to add our flour that we measured in earlier. Then we are going to add one teaspoon of cooked salt. Don't ask why I'm rushing trying to find this because I don't want this to burn. I fill up with the pot. I got swag. I got sauce. Sweet and sour, flaming hot. Take a look inside. Okay, so after you finish mixing it, this is what your dough should look like. Okay, I let it cool. cool. Okay, I let it cool and we transferred it to this bowl. And now we are going to go back to our baking station so we can continue. Okay, so now that we finished that, we are going to add one egg at a time, but a total of two eggs, beaten into this dough mixture. Oh my god, it got all stuck to that. <laughs> a few moments later. Okay, all right, now that we got most of the batter off, we're just gonna go with a spatula. Now we're going to put this mixture into our bag or piping bag. Cut. Cut. Okay, so this is how our churros came out. They actually look really good and you're about to try them. Try. Mmm, this is actually real good. You guys really should start making some churros. Mm. Now for this DIY, we are going to be making cake pops. I love cake 
cake pops. They are one of my favorite desserts. And now I'm gonna be showing you how to make them at home. So for the ingredients, you are going to be needing cake mix and you know, all the ingredients for cake mix. You're going to be needing candy melts, frosting, measuring cups, pan spray, and sprinkles. And sticks, wait. Bye. Okay, so for the ingredients, you're going to be needing and the ingredients for that sprinkles, frosting, wooden sticks, candy melts, measuring cups, spoons, and bowls. So, what you're gonna do first, for now, the first step is to make a regular vanilla cake. I should really say that. So satisfying. All right, so now I'm with my brother EJ, aka Do It Like a Boss 2. You can follow him on Instagram. And we are going to be finishing these cakes pops. Yeah. Um, so I put this in the oven yesterday and wrapped it up after it cooled. So now you're going to take the cake out. Oh god, that was, um, Yeah, that's that's a one way to do it. Oh yeah, that's what you're supposed to do. Thank you, waiter. Now you're gonna cut off the side brown parts. Oh. Now we are going to get a pan like this and we're gonna throw the cake in it. You didn't technically throw it, you could have dropped it from like Alright, <laughs> then we're just gonna break it up and crumble it up. Now that we're crumbling it up, it feels so soft. Like now that now you should really try this because it feels so soft and yeah. I think Ginger Gingy is Gingy. waiting for cake. <laughs> cake to fall. Look at her notes. <laughs> <laughs> now we're going to be adding two tablespoons of frosting into our cake destroyment. Now we're going to mix it up again. It's almost like a dough now. Like you are able to mold it, especially you're able to mold it into a circle, but you can now see that it's more like a dough that than was the like, biggest ball I've ever seen. Is, are we than like cake crumbs. Now that we have this texture, we are going to be making little cake balls. <laughs> now we decided to split the hum <laughs> Now we decided to split the humongous one into two. So we both got a pretty big cake pop. So if this is your first time melting chocolate. You have to make sure you're not melting it directly inside the pot. You have to put water boiling, and then you put a metal bowl on top for it to melt correctly. That's enough. Yay. <laughs> so that's enough for now. Okay, so we don't have, um, you know, cake pop sticks, but we're gonna improvise and use popsicle sticks. So we're gonna dip it in, and then you're going to put it halfway into your cake pop like that all right we're gonna grab our cake pop then we're gonna get our melted chocolate and dip it in and then put it back mine's on. broken that's okay oh well dip it in this, the chocolate will help seal it round it get it all over go around in a circle uh oh yours is oh no uh-oh me is broke if you like this Yours is your chocolate. That's why it's coming apart because your chocolate is um, starting to dry. Yeah. 
So we know it was a cake pop fail, but now we know exactly what to do, which is when you're rolling the, you know, cake dough thing, make sure there's no gaps or any like, you know, breaks in the dough when you're rolling it. And that will make it perfect and not turn out like this. Um, <laughs> even though it was a fail, it's still delicious. Um, okay, so that's gonna close out the video. If you like the music playing in the background, make sure you go listen to it on most music apps. Also, don't forget to go to MiaMadisonArtsAndAwarenessCenter.com to help out kids with cancer. All donations and proceeds go to kids with cancer. You can donate any amount, but if you donate up to $25, you get one of these shirts. You can learn more about that if you go to the website, link in the description. And if you would like, you can follow me on all my social medias. And yeah, that's gonna close out this video. Bye! Mia,